Glide Apps tutorial, how to use Glide App for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build an amazing application with Glide. Now Glide is a no code app builder. It's super, super easy and can be a great way for you to formulate your databases, your own application and much, much more. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Now over here, you're just going to head on over to glideapps.com and you can click on open glide on the top right. Now, once you click on open glide, this will open up a new tab and in your new tab, you can proceed with building your first application. And it does not even matter if you have ever used a app builder before, because you don't have to learn any unique skills. You just need to connect a couple of databases and it's really simple to do so as well. I have already created my account on Glide and if you haven't already, you can sign up with your email address. It's a really simple process. Just input your email address and that is it. Now from here, you're going to click on new app and you have three options. You can either create a basic app, create an AI generated app or create a blank app from where you can really customize it. So for beginners, I recommend either the basic or the AI generated ones. And with the data, in terms of data, you can import your files, connect a Google sheet, or use some of the other tools that you can link. So I want to build a AI generated application. So I'm going to select AI generated and then click on create app. From that, you're going to provide a description of what you want to create. So you will see this will even provide you with certain prompts as to what type of applications you can create. I want to create actually something like this where it's inventory management for my clothing store. So I want to create a inventory management system for my online clothing store like this. And then I'm just going to click on generate app. Now you might say, hey, isn't this gonna be a bit inconvenient? How do you get the data for that? Well, you can connect your online tool. You can import the CSV files. You can also link them to an Excel sheet or a Google sheet, and then link that over here to ensure that there is a smooth and seamless integration of all of your data with Glide. So whenever you just open up your phone, you can look at Glide instead of having to go into your own, you know, e-commerce store or retail manager or having to contact your support system or your support team to manage your inventory. You can easily do it at a glance with Glide. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for this application to be generated. So because of how popular Glide Apps really is and how amazingly this application is working, uh, I am having a little bit of a disruption building my application with AI. So I've opted for a template based application. So for that, let's say if we're going to go this route, we can click on basic app or blank app, depending on what you want to build. And then you're going to click on create app. Now the AI tool is taking a bit longer than I would have wanted. So I'm going to proceed with our own creation of our inventory management system. Now on the left, you will see items and then categories. Now these are the navigation panel items. And within that, we also have components that are linked. So there might be different categorizations for you. So you can delete these pre-existing navigations and you can build your own as well. So in my application, I'm just going to open this and we're first going to name our application. So let's say that this is my yellow merch application. So I can click on the top right yellow app and then we're going to build our own navigation. So from here, we also have some sample screens, including things like project management applications, dashboards, company directories, multi-step forms, and chat applications. But we're going to go ahead and we are going to screen from data and then want items. So I have this section called items. And once we have our section called items, we can begin customization. On the right, it will show you a source and the source is the item source. I'm going to be adding a list of all of my products under items. I'm going to rename this into products as well. And you will see you have a particular icon that you can use to display that. 
Below that, you can choose a style. So if you want cards, if you want lists, tables, data grids, Kanbans, calendar views, or checklists. I want this to be a list format. Below that, we have the item data. So I want names, descriptions, and I don't think I want description. So I think I might want to include some customized information, which is going to be product code. And then we have our meta where we can link, you know, other types of information as well as the image. Below that, we have actions. So if we want to allow users to add items, allow users to edit them or delete them. Once you have completed the general options for your products, you can go on to the right side and then start adding different options. So you can set conditions for when a tab should be visible based upon the profile data of the user. So you might not want all of your employees to be able to edit, um, you know, certain elements. So you can set up customized visibility. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go into components on the left. And once we go into components on the left, you guys can see that this is driven or the data is driven from this particular section over here. So over here, you're going to click on data on the bottom left and you will see the data down below. These are just some example items that it is going to add and you can customize this data on your own. You can add a CSV file to do so as well and you can upload your own, you know, your own files. And if you want to know how you can import your files, simply go on to your designated store builder or your e-commerce builder. Most people are using Shopify, so I'll just take this as an example. Go into products on the top right and you're going to click on export and you can save this as a CSV file. Click on export products over here and four of your products will be exported. Now what you can do is click on edit collection. You have your collection design, the number of items, paid size, image styles, and more. And then once you have your items ready, you can go on ahead, click on settings, and then you're going to go into data and you can just remove the sample data like so. And then you're going to open up your CSV file like so. I'll just open this up over here. And I'm just waiting for this to be opened up and I can just copy all of the information that is present within and then I'm going to paste that in and it will be added. So you guys can see my liquid lipstick, all of the items are added. Now I can add a column on the right side, which is going to be inventory. And then I can also add some, the type of data field this is going to be. So this is going to be a text or a number based data field. And with that, this is going to provide a number of how much inventory do we have. And we have the units, which is going to be product, but I don't need a unit for this. So we just have inventory over here. And now we have a simple application ready. Once completed, you can click on publish on the top right and also customize the link for what you want to use with the publishing name. I'm just using the default one. You have to just use one that is available. You can customize it. And now from here, you can copy the app link and invite other users as well as use it yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're looking to get started with Glide, for an individual, it's free, which allows you to create one published app with two editors, no updates, and 10 personal users can be added. You also have the maker version where you can create an app for your idea or community. This allows you to connect data sources from Google Sheets and other applications. You also have over 500 updates, one application, two editors, and unlimited personal users that can use your application. And you also have additional features like custom CSS, domains and branding, third-party integrations, and triggering webhooks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.